How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's MRE here. We're going to do this review at the workbench. Uh, a little change up from the normal. Uh, we have a Spanish ration of B2 lunch. We're going to go ahead and review it. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we had this ration uh, for an MRE. Got a hold of me, said, hey, we got a ration that has the label faded. You can see it's faded to almost like a light purple color. And you can still make it out, but I guess it wasn't really a saleable ration. And then you can still see the expiration date, December 2017, is nice and clear. On the back, they have their sticker, foreignemory.com. And they're going to give you guys 10% off if you're interested in buying something off their website. Uh, I'll put the promotion code here, somewhere right here. And uh, we'll also put links in the description so you can just click and go right to it. So that being said, let's go ahead and cut it open. I have to apologize. It might be a little echoey in here, just kind of the way the walls are set up. I'm using a different mic to do this. Uh, I know it is it does have a little bit of echo to it, so just bear with me. We'll go ahead and cut it open with our knife here. Almost cut my finger. You guys see that? Let's slice it like this. Smells pretty normal. It's in the kind of olive drab uh, cardboard box here. So let's go ahead and flip this open. We have a basically a packing list here with a green from the pouch rubbed off. That's all right. We have soup. I believe it's vegetable soup. Uh, we have our Dental cream, thought something was wet. Maybe not. Or dental cream, which is basically uh, toothpaste. Then we have a uh, fruit cocktail. Small little can of that. And then we have... I don't know what that is. We'll have to, trans we'll have to translate that one. You can see right there. We'll come back to that here in a second. Um, we have what it feels like, was it tea or coffee? No, the vitamin C drink. Yeah, we got these in the last one. Uh, we did two of these Spanish ones before. The vitamin C drink is kind of a, like a white colored uh, tasteless substance you put it with water, mix it with water. And there should be several pouches of them in here. There's two three, four, four pouches of that. We have our disinfectant, which is pretty much hand sanitizer. And we have a piece of gum. That's some matches. The tips kind of mess up on the very end one. We have some fuel tabs. It says, Three fuel tabs. They do smell fishy, just like the Russian ones. Then we have uh, some sort of pat tay. We'll translate that here in a second, along with their main. And usually some kind of fish. Yeah, sardines and tomato sauce. We have a paper towel or teepee for your bunghole, you might say. And then we have our little Nesbit stove that this stuff here goes with. So yeah, not a huge ration. It's only basically a single, well, I think it's a single meal, but um, you definitely could stretch it out if you weren't that big of a guy and weren't terribly hungry. Okay, so our main uh, translates to meatloaf. Uh, meatloaf with peas, I think it was. It's very hard to get these dark green uh, cans to translate. And then we have or pepper pate, which last time we had this, it was just uh, basically uh, pate with black pepper in it, and maybe some other kinds of peppers. It's really hard to pick that out. So that being said, let's go ahead and tray this up. Okay, and not to leave out, there was two uh, water purification tablets in the bag. So let's go ahead and get our sardines out, our cocktail our pate and our main 
and we'll do one of the drinks, our gum, and our soup, the rudest. Let me translate that real quick while I'm thinking about it. Okay, so we're gonna go and put our hand sanitizer right there. I switched back the microphone, see if it's less of an echo to it. I'm sure it is. Uh, so that being said, let's go and open up this pate, this pepper pate. Oh, squeezing out already. Definitely has a good smell to it. Do that. We'll set this guy off to the side. All right. Yeah, it has a real good, uh, I don't want to say lunch meat smell to it. Almost like a, and a lot of the American kids watching this won't know what pate smells like. Uh, almost not even a spam. It's a, um, like a very well spiced, uh, I don't know, almost like a sausage. And let's go after the sardines and tomato sauce. I actually like sardines. A lot of people don't like sardines. I don't have a problem with them at all. I gotta be careful with this guy though, so he doesn't squeeze juice out. I don't know if it will or not. Pretty tough to pull. It looks pretty good. It looks like three very large uh, sardines in there. Take the smell of it. It smells pretty fishy, but it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Okay, we'll leave him right there. We have our water heating up for our, our vegetable soup. This is vegetable soup, I thought it was. And let's go ahead and open our main up because we're going to heat that up. We have expiration day on this of 12, 2017, just like the front of the ration said. And it looks like they were right. It went to meatloaf to translate and then the meatballs. It is meatballs and I did see a pea floating in there. It smells kind of odd. A little bit of onion in it, a little bit of vegetable smell coming out of it. Just something a little bit different about it. All right, let me go ahead and put this on our little hot plate and get this heated up. We're going to keep going here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our vegetable soup. We have some hot water here. It's about 400 ml. Like last time, that was about what we needed here. Go and rip this open. And it's just like an instant soup. Get some croutons of stuff in it. All right. I guess we didn't get a spoon with this, so let's go ahead and go grab one. Okay, so we're back. Let's go ahead and stir our soup up here. And the water is pretty hot. Make sure it's not melting our tray. That'd be, that would be catastrophic for sure. All right. Our soup smells like vegetable soup, a little bit of onion in it, parsley and everything else. I hear something going on with their main. Let's go take a check on that real quick. All right, sorry about that. I had to go check on our main, make sure it wasn't burning or doing anything. I heard some strange noises coming in over there, so you never know. Let's go ahead and uh, flip you guys up just a little bit here. You see the soup in the background. Let's go ahead and do this drink. And it should just be a white powder. Ooh. Huh. Well, that one uh, has been compromised. It's got mold oil in it. We see the brown along the edge. Let's go ahead and sit him off to the side and grab another one. This one feels like it's the same way. This one feels like it's the same way. And this one feels like it's the same way. It should be a real fine white powder. And might have a little Thor doing this nonsense. It feels like it's not, it looks like it's not. 
I don't know why they be sealed. What the heck's going on? Look at that. Ooh, it's definitely bad. Has that whiskey kind of smell to it. I wonder what happened. Everyone, all four of these are like that. Well, we can't drink that. That's kind of odd. Uh, let's go ahead and set that back off to the side. And let me see where we're we at here. Let's just move on. Let's set that out of the way. Move on to our fruit cocktail. Cocktail deep fruit. Hmm. Pretty much there's no avoiding that. Didn't get too far. A little bit here, a little bit there. Nice fruit cocktail. You guys want to take a look at it. Smells good. And I think we're ready for our main, so let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, we are back. Our light got turned a little bit. Let's move that back in there. And we have our main here. And this guy is super hot. Just gotta make sure I don't spill it. You can see here, and cooking up here, the grease is still cold, but in here, I mean, it's it's really hot. Essentially just meatballs and uh, peas, huh? Quite a lot of meatballs too. And that's pretty much the entire contents of the can. Set that off to the side. It smells really good. It really does smell similar to a Russian meal. They have a lot of uh, beef and stuff like that. You know, we might have to change this off for this because I don't think that plastic fork is going to cut these. Gently cut into them. Everything seems to be good. Let's go and take a taste of this main. I'm very curious. It smells very, very beefy, almost like a beef stew. And I don't smell the onions once it's heated up here. And there's only four peas in it total. Hmm. That really does taste very similar to the Russian beef. You guys watched my Russian videos before. You know, the reviews that have uh, have like beef or beef with carrots and peas. It'll have a bay leaf in it. It very does very much does resemble that. Very good. Now that being said. Let's go into the pepper pate. Believe it or not, the pepper pate doesn't smell much different than the meatballs. And you can see it's a nice, it's not really even a smooth texture. It's just a very finely minced, I guess it's pork. It'd be a pork liver pate, more than likely. Very good though. Hmm. I'm actually pretty hungry right now, if you haven't noticed. And this is all going down pretty good. I'll more than likely finish that. But, let's go ahead and, let me see here. Go ahead and taste the soup. The soup's turned a little bit thick. I think that's pretty much normal. Take a smell of it. It just smells kind of oniony. Like there's a lot of onions in it. I'm not a big onion fan, but we'll go ahead and take a sip of it. Very hot. Hey, it's not bad though. I had this before, I think I mixed it too thick and it was so salty, but this amount of water is about right. Yeah, really not bad at all. What kind of animal I am here? I didn't sanitize my hands. Let's go ahead and uh, do that once. 
Don't need a ton of it on her. Not that dirty. This feels like it has a lotion mixed in with it. And it leaves your hands feeling very smooth. My hands are pretty rough working on BMWs all the time. They definitely don't catch a break. So, back to the sardines. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't like sardines, but I actually do like sardines. Once you get around, it's just a whole fish with the scales and everything on it. There's nothing to it. Let's go and take a taste. Hmm. That's actually a really good sardine. Extra fishy. A lot of people don't like tuna because it's fishy, but I don't mind. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and try this fruit cocktail. And some of the problem with this canned fruit, once it gets to be a year or two old, and there's really no way to, to date this rash and there's no production date on it. Also it has just expiration date that I know of anyway. Once it gets to be a year or two old, it gets like real kind of mushy. Same way if you get a fruit cup that's old. But let's see if this is that way or not. Some peaches, some pears, stuff like that in there. It looks pretty decent. Let's take a bite. This one's actually good. It's not mushy at all. And it's not black like some of the 1990s rations we did. So that's always, that's always a plus. Not bad. You know, this ration is really, really good. The only thing that was bad was those orange vitamin drinks. I didn't like them anyway. So it was definitely not hurting my feelings any. So I don't... It's almost like they would have had to put some older packets in the actual MRE itself because I don't see the rest of this being as good as what it is and only this being bad if that's not the case. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. That's all for the lunch B2 Spanish ration and this is a Spanish uh, military ration. This is combat ration and armed forces. So yeah, that's it. Thanks uh, one more time to foreignmre.com and hopefully uh, you guys go and check their site out and everything works out good for everybody. That's all for today's video guys. Have a good day and we'll see you later.